with meteorologist Chad Evans, certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, a tornado outbreak is going to get underway here shortly in Oklahoma. Again, high risk for tornadoes in this region this evening. What's left of this system will head our, head our way and bring some at least scattered showers and a few storms as we get into Friday. That's my main focus this evening on those rain chances Friday. And then after that, the warmest weather of the season with largely dry weather lasting for several, several days. But with that hot and humid weather, I think our severe weather potential is really going to start to increase here as we get into the early part of June. We can get multiple severe weather events after what has been a very quiet spring. A little patchy fog tonight. Temperatures falling into the upper 40s. These cumulus and strata cumulus clouds we've got out there this evening will burn off. But as we get into the day tomorrow, clouds will gradually increase while some high and mid-level clouds begin to arrive. Uh, my thinking right now is the rain's going to hold off until Friday. I know this particular model tries to bring a couple showers in by tomorrow evening. Some of the guidance is suggestive of a few showers arriving by tomorrow afternoon, but I don't see enough evidence yet to really go that way. So let's just keep it on Friday for now. We'll have another update at 11 o'clock to see if we need to alter that forecast. Definitely a wave of showers and thunderstorms coming through Friday morning, possibly a break around midday, and then another little wave comes through during the afternoon hours. But again, no severe weather is expected. That's going to stay south of us the way it looks right now. Rainfall totals from this on Friday look to be anywhere between about four tenths of an inch near Rensselaer and Wheatfield to up to eight tenths of an inch from the Thorntown area to uh, just south of Frankfurt near Fickle and also down towards Crawfordsville, pushing seven tenths in Lafayette, over a half an inch here at Monticello and Fowler. And highs tomorrow as that system does approach, mid 70s north to low 70s south. That's because the clouds will arrive in our southern counties first, keeping you a little cooler and highs on Fridays. Friday running about 73 or 74 degrees. So here comes that wave of scattered showers and storms on Friday. Warm over the weekend. Good weekend to head out to the track over at Indianapolis. 85 to 90 for the high. A lot of sunshine. 88 on Monday. But with this very juicy tropical flow from the Gulf, I do think at least a few isolated thunderstorms will be the weather story as we get in from about May 25th through Memorial Day. But all the big time rains, all the big time severe weather staying to our west until we get into June, I think this axis of severe weather will affect us during the first couple of weeks of June. Clearing a little patchy fog tonight will drop to 48. Tomorrow, 74. Increasing clouds and warmer. Scattered showers and storms on Friday in two ways with highs in the 70s. But we'll be 85 to 90 from Saturday on. And nothing more than a couple isolated popcorn type storms toward the middle, uh, towards the middle part of next week. Very summer-like weather pattern. No big rains, no big severe weather until we get into the first week of June. Okay, well, that's good news. Yeah. A little nice bit of a break. Nice weekend ahead of us, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Liz looking good. Okay, thanks, hey. Chad. Yeah. See you tonight. Uh, Mike Clef.